today I'm going to do a review on this Frigidaire Gallery Microwave. Uh, we installed this probably a couple weeks ago, maybe, and I've been using it and I wanted to share things I like about it and things I don't like about it. And uh, this is this is not a paid review, it's just um, a review where I'm just going to give my open honest opinion. Obviously I'm going to keep the microwave and there are things that I do like about it so we'll go over those. I purchased this microwave from Lowe's and I believe it was in the $250 range. So you can find it on on the website. I'm going to give you the model number but uh, my son bought me the stove, the Gallery Series stove, and I just wanted to have a microwave that would match that. And I did a review on the stove. You'll find it in my uh, video library if you want to know about this particular stove. It is also a Frigidaire Gallery. So, um, anyway, uh, it's got a really neat LED light, which I do like, and uh, the filter, the pure air filter is up in this area. My husband has to get a screwdriver and open that up, and there's a carbon filter in there. This is the ventless version, so they make both versions. They make the one that's vented out and then the one that is ventless. I chose the ventless because I didn't want to poke a hole through our exterior of our cabin or the farmhouse here so I'm gonna see I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick it up let me um, I'll see if I can get a flashlight and give you the information off of that this is um, manufactured in 2018 in April and uh, it's a fairly large uh, microwave it has the tempered glass on the door um, easy to keep clean um, it did come with a rack but I know nobody uses those metal racks in fact if you go through your manual of any microwave you buy they continue to tell you throughout the manual don't use it <laughs> so I'm not really sure why it's included but it is included so um, let's go over some of the features and this is all just you know safety and stuff like that and then this is the actual model number I'll get a flashlight before the end of the video and I'll I'll give you that information if you're interested okay so the the menu is uh, pretty easy um, I haven't memorized the manual but it's pretty easy to learn this has a really great feature that I do like and it's there's a Obviously, it lights up the stove area, which I really wanted. And, and if you watch my older videos, I had a really nasty hood, which I didn't like. It was here when we moved in. And no matter how much I cleaned it, it just was filthy. I didn't like having that hood at all. Spoiled from having an above microwave in Dallas. But anyway, there's a light here that, adju that adjusts to... Uh, there's a high and a low and this one is called night and then there's the off and then as you can see there's the high and then there's the night the night is uh, we use it as a night light here in the kitchen um, but I really like it it's LED and it gives you a pathway to the kitchen if you're trying to get up in the middle of the night need something so <clears throat> there's a lot of different features on this obviously the one I always shoot for is the popcorn because I that's one of my very favorite snacks is popcorn so any microwave I own has to have a popcorn button so I'm not sure about everybody else but that's just it's a mandatory thing I don't use a lot of these buttons but the nicest thing is that they're here and this has a sensor management on it so it's going to sense what you put in here as long as you tell it <laughs> it'll sense the food temperature which is really great there is um, 
there's an auto defrost and it, it asks you, uh, you know, is it meat? Is what type of meat it is? Is it poultry? Is it fish? Uh, I think meat would me mean like pork, beef or anything like that. And then you would go through the features of hitting, it says press start, but it just tells you every little detail of, you know, what you need to, to do. Um, press the start and you enter the weight of what you're putting in there. And I usually just guesstimate unless it's on the package. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to say clear. Uh, the popcorn thing is neat. We'll go back to that. You can hit popcorn, and if you look on the bag or on your box of popcorn, it's going to tell you how many ounces. And this has, uh, the more you press this, the more uh, features you have with how big even the snack ones are on here. Now, what I don't like about this one that I had in the, my little portable one that I used prior to getting this one is it popped more popcorn. So I may or may not continue to use this feature. I do like it. It's quick. Uh, but I always add a little time to finish popping all the popcorn. So, um, you know, I guess that's a yay and a nay. I, I, I like it, but I don't like it. Um, there's an auto defrost. Same thing again, meat. Um poultry, fish, that kind of thing. There's an auto cook, uh, which state you can do the scrambled eggs. You can do a hot cereal. You can do a frozen pizza. You can do fudge brownies. You can do garlic, shrimp, uh, stuffed mushrooms. Um, potatoes, roasted vegetables, medley, lemon. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here you can do. I have not used that feature yet. There's also a sensory cook for bacon. I've not done bacon in here either yet. And there's one for frozen dinner. There's one for rice and breakfast. Again, bacon. So let me hit clear. And another neat feature of this microwave is it softens and melts butter. And you can say melt butter, soften butter. Ice cream, you can soften ice cream, which I think is really cool. Um, on the potato side, it, there's just one button for that, and that'll just cook a potato if you want to bake potato. Uh, on the vegetables, you have fresh or frozen vegetables to cook. And then snacks, uh, you can do frozen pizza, hot dogs, meal in a cup, you know, like the soups, uh, frozen pizza again, hot dogs. It just, there's a bunch of different things to put in there. So it has all of really things at your fingertip that you wouldn't have to know a time setting for, which I think is neat. The clock setting is super neat. You hit the clock twice and you set your time and then hit the clock again and you're done. It doesn't, it doesn't care if it's PM or AM. It doesn't really matter, which I'm glad they took that away because that was always a frustrating part. You had to round the bend of PM or AM to get the, te the time right. And this just, you set the number and then you're good to go. Um, there's a fan, I've not used this yet, but there's a high, a low, it's pretty loud, and then the off. You can also set the turntable on or off here, like if you don't want the little turn, the little glass thing on the inside to turn. Um, what I have noticed is that this turntable is extremely noisy. Uh, I've not heard my microwave in Dallas was a whirlpool, but it didn't make a noise when you put something in it. I'm just going to show you all and see if we can pick it up on the camera. But here's a cup, and I'm just going to put it in here and start it. And we'll just give it, I don't know, 
25 seconds and hit start I don't know if you can hear that noise anyway if it was able to pick it up on the camera or not I don't know but um, it's like it's it's like it's missing for some reason and I've adjusted the underneath <clears throat> plastic thing I've adjusted the glass I've done a lot of different adjustments to try to make the noise stop and it won't stop so I think I'm stuck with the, <clears throat> the noise so anyway overall if this were if I were grading this on a 1 to 10 I would give it a 9 um, I do like it I like all the features and I really like the LED lighting um, the last thing I want to tell you is that if you're putting something in the microwave and you're uh, or you're setting the timer it continues to beep until you hit the button so most of the time like on a dryer it beeps so many times and it stops beeping this microwave continues to beep until you hit the cancel or open the door so um, and then the very last thing is let me get a flashlight and I'll show you what the model or serial number is on this one um, so perhaps you could find it on Lowe's but I'm gonna go to Lowe's website and I'm going to give this a review the same review and I'll post a link on the Lowe's site to my video but I would give this a 9 maybe a 9.5 but I think a 9 is a good solid 9 um, it was the only one that really matched my stove in the same model so I'm kinda stuck in that area but definitely aesthetically pretty nice and easy to keep clean okay so let's, let's find the this model number this let me see if I can zoom in there's the model number the model number is F is in Frank G M V is in Victor 176 N is in Nancy T is in Tom F is in Frank so that's the model of this uh, Frigidaire made in uh, Charlotte North Carolina and well it says made in China over there but I guess it's Electrolux Products Incorporated and uh, it also gives some little quick menu guides for um, using all the different steps without pulling out the manual every time. Here is how you read those on there. So, really neat. But I would say very nice. And uh, again, solid nine. So I hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, if you're looking for a microwave, you're in the market for a new microwave, I would highly recommend this Frigidaire Gallery Series. Hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys.